Yeah. Hey. Tell me was it love? Was it love? And why you playing now? Lying, crying with someone, smoking, feeling numb. Then tell me who's in love? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Pam Music Production, and today with a free kind of preset that you can use for a guitar beats. Something that's gonna make you sound like this. Tell me was it love? Was it love? Then why are you playing that? Hey. Lying, crying with someone, smoking, feeling numb. Then tell me who's in love? I fucked your ass from miles away. You drive no sense, can't feel no pain. Subscribe for more vocal presets by free to get more on the way. Now, if you guys like the sound, it's very simple. I will run you through the whole process of how you can actually do the whole settings and the auto tune settings in a minute. But also, guys, this is a free preset that I'm releasing here for Apple Studio. If you guys have just started watching, drop your comments below in more suggestions. Again, we're taking suggestions onto your comments on who do you want to see a vocal preset here next week, Thursday. So we're going to release these vocal presets again. We're going to be looking at mainly vocal presets uh, all the way throughout um, the Christmas period in January. So a lot, a lot of presets that you guys suggest. So make sure you drop them below. But from that, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you've got any questions or anything, just drop them below. Hope everyone's been cool though, like, you know, I've been really busy trying to get everything up and running. Also, this week, guys, uh, in below in more description, I have dropped a link to 8 top VST plugins for Macs and Windows for guitars. The top guitars you can use, so acoustic, bass kind of guitars. They're all free to use and they're all below. You know, all eight of them, you can download them. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Apart from that, let's go straight to the tutorial in FL Studio. Hey, what's up guys? So here we are in FL Studio. And as you can see, I have the effects here up on the screen. Very, very simple for you guys to see. So we've got the main recording here, which we used to create this sound. So let's just have a quick listen to it one more time. Tell me, was it love? Was it love? Then why are you playing that? Obviously, if I was going to sing it like this, tell me, was it love? It wouldn't sound like that. But with all these effects on on my channel, check this out. Was it love? Was it love? Yeah, you kind of get the point. <laughs> it's a little bit off because of the speed of the beat and recording and stuff. But yeah, you guys kind of get the point. Uh, with these effects, we can really sound good. And to make it sound good, there's certain procedure that we have to follow here on the uh, right hand side. So we have uh, what we have is five different effects, as you guys can see. And the main effect that we're going to use on here is the auto tune artist. So this is the first plugin. Now you guys if you haven't got auto tune VST, you guys can grab it below. Uh, I think you can pay something like 175 pounds or dollars and it's for the whole year registration. So there's a link to that below if you want to go and grab it, you will get all the auto tune Antares plugins or you can pay something like 20 US dollars or pounds a month. So there's a link to that as well. You guys will get a free months, free subscription if you hit the link below. So go and grab it. Um, and what we have on this Auto Tune Antares is we have a retune speed. Retune speed set to 31, guys, on here. Now, do mind that on the top here we've got Separano, Alta Tenor, and Low Mel. We set this to Alta and Tenor. Key, we have C, C sharp, D, E, E, F. Set it to D, and then here on a scale, you've got major, minor, chromatic. Uh, you know, I set it to minor D. Now, obviously, this is based on our actual uh, sound. 
Uh, we don't want to overdo it. See, this is a guitar track. We don't want to overdo and kill it totally with the retune speed. I mean, imagine if we go from 31 to this. We start sounding like T-Pain, you know? Imagine singing in this. I thought that it was love. I mean, you know, on guitar beat, you can't really do this, man. So, yeah, make sure the retune speed is between, basically, between 30, well, I'll say around 40 to 30. But I stick it usually 31, 32. It's very nice and perfect. And that gives us that really nice sound. Here on the side, the Humanize, uh, we set it to 72. Now, usually the Humanize is halfway, so half kind of robotic, half human kind of sound. But on the guitar type of tracks, we want to go like 70 to 75. I usually go 71, 72. Just leave it there. Perfect. Now, again, your scale the C or D minor or major is going to be based on your beat and for this instance with D minor which is the track so that's what we stack to now the second effect down is we have something called the fruity limiter and as you guys can see when I turn it on look at the sound I mean you guys you guys see exactly what happens I have to turn the volume down because it's so loud but uh, basically, it just lifts up the vocals. So what you're going to do on here, guys, is very simple. You're going to open it up, okay? And now note how the gain on here is 9.7 on the mid, 9.7 on the mid, and 2.6 on the high. Keep those figures, 9.726. So what you're going to do is click on the drop down here, click on preset, and select vocal. Now notice how these two changed. So you're going to take the gain on the mid and move it to about 9.6, just like that. And the gain on here on the high band, move it to about 2.627, like that. Now if you guys don't know what I'm looking, if you look here at the hint panel at the top, every time I change this gain, that hint panel goes up and down. You see that? So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to move it to about 2.7. Oh. There we go. <laughs> and that's that. Then, we're using Sound Goodizer. Now again, Sound Goodizer, this is what my vocals will sound like naturally. We saturate the vocals a bit, not too much. This time, we're using, you got, you know, four different kind of modes. And basically, just as this really cool effect, a saturation effect. And every mode has a different sound, as you guys can see. This is live on the input. And we're going to change it to A. And this is what we sound like. Now, we're going to take this and put it in on 25% input. Obviously, 25% is here. If you guys do not know your percentages, go back to school. Because, as you guys can see, this is 75%, this is 50 and this is 25 If you do not know your pie charts, guys... Yeah, anyway, um, so now we're here on the Panagement 2, and guys, check this out. Amazing, huh? Now, Panagement 2 is a free VST. You guys can grab it in the more description below from Producer Buzz. It's free to download. Amazing VST plugin. So once you get onto the website, you know, you can type it in. Uh, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. And there's also a video there demonstrating how to use it. So if you just started, you know, with music production, this is really cool. We'll definitely give you the info you need to know. Jumping back over to FL Studio. Uh, the settings you will need to use on a Panagement 2 is very simple. Uh, first of all, do not touch this. Because <laughs> if you do, you will sound like you're coming from a different direction. And it's pretty cool, but you don't want that. So just keep it in the middle here at the top. Uh, I'm not going to be too picky, but yeah, zero, 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 zero is perfect. It's a little bit off, but it's fine. Now, the concept, now that at the top, we've got reverb. You turn it on. We select concert on, okay, enabled. Size of the room, uh, not 50%, but about 62%. DK, you can go halfway on DK, 50, you know, 50%. The wetness is set to about about 10%, yeah, about 15% wetness, and that's it. Now, if you guys obviously don't set the settings and you set it different, like let's say you don't go to about 62, 63% on the size, but you make it bigger, it's gonna sound like this. And if you get smaller, it's gonna sound like that. 
But for this, we need about 61, 62%. Perfect. Perfect echo for a guitar type of track. Now, if you guys think this is too much, you can take the size down to about 50%. Really nice effect as well. You know, works really fine. And last but not least is Fruity Reverb 2. And on here, as you guys can see, all these buttons are turned up except Fruity Reverb 2. It's not turned up all the way. We've only turned it up to about 6%, 7% to be precise. And all we did on here is left it at default settings. Now, this is what's going to give us this really nice kind of sound when we sing over the track. Check this out. Tell me, is it love? Is it love? Tell me, is it love? Hey, you know how it goes. Come on, guys. Hit the like if you like this. Okay, and I'm live as well. You know, I didn't mess it up or anything. <laughs> But this is like take 50 by the way, so I didn't mess it up like 50 times. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, is what it is. Okay, so here we are. And obviously the main volume is just here and we've got the backup on here. So I went for like that XX Tentacion kind of background type of sound. Really simple. Um, all I did, you know, just re-recorded it and just took the volume down. No effects whatsoever, just using a main vocal effect as an input gain. So you guys can see, you know, just by using a main input gain and setting it to record here to red, that's all you need. And you don't need any post kind of effects. You can use like a, a modern de or to de the vocals, but it's fine. You know, this is a guitar type of beat, have that nice kind of reverb, room kind of reverb. Um, give it a nice kind of atmosphere, don't overdo it, and it sounds perfect. And that's exactly what we've done here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know below what you guys think of this. I'm going to let you guys listen to this now. Um, I did mess it up a little bit here, but then again, I did just write it and record it in five minutes just for this tutorial. So I'll let you guys listen to it again, and we go straight back out. Tell me, was it love? Was it love? Then why are you playing that? Lying, crying with someone Smoking, feeling numb Then tell me who's in love I throw your eyes from miles away You drive no sense Can't feel no pain Subscribe for more Vocal presets by free To get more on the way More on the way, more presets So make sure you subscribe and let's go straight back out Alright guys, I just want to thank you for watching Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, also, you can get the preset below from Producer Buzz. Make sure you drop your suggestions on what you guys want to see here next week. Uh, I was meant to drop a video on Saturday, but I was really busy. So I'm definitely going to drop a VST plugin. Um, uh, show you guys, basically this Saturday, I'm going to drop a video showing you guys a beat I made really quickly using Vans free synth VST plugin. So you know they do these like uh, free synth type of competition where you create a track using just one kind of synth sound. Well that's what I've done, it's a free synth and the sound just came out amazing. Obviously I used my own effects and stuff as you guys do. But yeah, it's really really super cool. So if you guys are into music production, definitely check this out coming out on Saturday. Uh, I don't know if I'm talking too much, but apart from that, peace out, subscribe, hit the like, you know how it goes, poof, I'm out. Yeah.